Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the proudly powered by WordPress message in the footer of your website. This is a 2017 theme right here. If we go right to the bottom, it has proudly powered by WordPress. Now, the themes that have this are usually the ones that don't have theme, theme options panels. So you have to do this manually in the footer.php file, which is okay. But just so you're aware, it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world. But it can be done. And we're going to do it right now. So if your theme has this, this is likely how you're going to be able to fix it. So if you go back to the dashboard, we go to appearance and then click on editor. We want to open the footer.php file, which is right here. If you can't find it for your theme, either press control F or command F and type in footer.php into the search bar and it'll highlight that file for you. So we want to open that file by clicking on it and it'll open in the editor right here. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to just highlight this text, copy it, and then search for that text and have it just be highlighted. But unfortunately, there are zero of zero results returned. So they have that text a little obfuscated, not easily visible. So we gotta find a different way to find it. And looking through here, if you're not familiar with PHP or, or HTML, it looks like a bunch of gibberish but we're still gonna find out what's going on or how to fix it. So if we go back to the blog, what we have to do now is right click on that link or that message and click on inspect. Most modern browsers have that inspect functionality. And we see that the proudly powered by WordPress is wrapped by a div with a class of site info. So I'm just gonna copy that site info, search for it over here, but it returns nothing. So next level up. We have a class called wrap. I'm going to copy wrap, search for that, and we have one of two. So we have a, an opening and a closing div tag for the wrap div. So this area right here is what's producing the proudly powered by WordPress um, message. So we could theoretically just highlight everything within that wrap, or even the wrap itself, and just hit delete and be done but there's more stuff going on here that you might not want to delete. For example, this first part allows widgets to be added. So if we go to appearance and then widgets, let's just test this out. We've got a footer one and a footer two widget. So if we add text here, call that footer one and then save it. I want to add text to footer two. I'm gonna call it footer two and save it. Then go back to our website and refresh the page. We see we have footer one and footer two content put in there. And that is through this template part. But if we delete everything inside the wrap, that won't work anymore. And there's social navigation that can be added. If we delete the whole thing, that can't be added anymore. And at the very end, there's this info that can be added. And I'm willing to bet because the proudly powered by WordPress message is not a widget. It's not a social navigation menu. I'm willing to bet that it's in this info piece right here. So if we comment this out by adding two forward slashes and then update this file, we should, hopefully if we did this right, if we, if we, if we identified the right piece, we will now have, when I refresh the page, we'll get rid of this but still have footer one and footer two. So I'm gonna refresh this page, close the inspector, and now the message is gone. The, um, uh, the power by WordPress is gone. Footer one and footer two are still here. So the footer still works, it's just that that message is gone. And taking this one step further, if you know a little bit of PHP, even if you don't, you're gonna learn a little bit right now, we can echo out our own uh, footer text. So if we go echo and then open and close quotes followed by semicolon and have copyright 2017wpphd.com, click on update. That echo just prints out the, the, the string of characters that you type inside the quotes just directly onto the page is what the echo PHP command does. So now if we refresh this page, we will have our own custom copyright at the bottom. 
So that's pretty awesome. Now that's the most difficult you'll encounter. Uh, most themes, if they don't have uh, a theme options panel, they'll at least have the the text for the footer, the Proudly Powered by WordPress message, very clearly laid out in the footer file. This was hidden away, harder to find. We ended up finding it, which is great, but it was harder. And if you have a theme options, um, or if you have a theme that has theme options, it can be even easier. So I'm just gonna activate the Aveda theme here and show you what I mean. So the Aveda theme is now activated. If we go to, um, under appearance, there's a theme options link, but also under Aveda, up here, there's a theme options link. If we go to the theme options, and then I'm also gonna refresh this page to show you what our footer looks like with the Aveda theme. And we already have a custom made footer and, and here it is right here. The, the theme itself, when you first install, does not have a custom made footer. You have to go in and edit your own or create your own. And you go for the Aveda theme, you go into footer, footer content, and then right to the very bottom, and there's a copyright text box. Everything you enter in here becomes the text in this copyright section in the footer, which is way easier than editing the PHP. Uh, hopefully your theme has a theme options uh, panel where you can do this very easily. If it doesn't, you now know how to do it if you have to do it in the PHP itself. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check out wplearnlab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.